Hey, hey there, Darren here. Today, I'm super excited to be sharing with you a beginner tutorial of a new no coding platform or new to me, and that is Glide Apps. And so in this video from start to finish, I'm gonna show you how to make this app here. So the purpose of this app is every month at the end of the month, I do my budget and I put money into my savings account, but I need a way to track what money goes into which envelopes in my savings account. Think about here. So here, like an emergency fund, I would have $5,000 in there. Taxes, I have $12.50. If I don't have a way written down for me to track this, it kind of gets lost and money might get put somewhere else when it really needs to be saved for taxes. So the purpose of this app is to compare this total value, um, 9,500, and then I can come into like taxes and update that if I put more money in there this month. So say I updated that to 1400, then I can save that, come back, and now my total value is changed. For like two years, I've been doing this inside of a Google Sheet, but with Glide and with other no-code app builders, you can, you can do this. But with Glide specifically, their big thing is that they are apps based off data in Google Sheets. That's why I chose to do it here and I wanted to learn the platform. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this app from start to finish. So all Glide apps start with a database. So the data that you're gonna be showing inside of your app. And that's really what all apps are, is a way to interface with data. So here I'm gonna create a new Google Sheet and it's gonna have two columns. The first is envelope and the second is gonna be amount. And then in envelope, these are gonna be like the categories that I am saving money for. And then I'll have the amounts that are in each of those envelopes. Pretty simple, right? So then I'm gonna to come to glideapps.com, create your account, and here I'm gonna start a new app from a Google Sheet. Now that's gonna pull up the Google Sheets search feature for your account. And so here I can just click on saving envelopes Glide database, because that's what we just created, and I'll select that. And so now what Glide is gonna do is it's gonna pull in that data and then based off that data, it's gonna try to create different screens for each of the sheets in our Google Sheets. So since we only have one, it only created one screen. And this is really cool because I didn't have to come in and plug up these values. It automatically realized, you know, this is my value and here's the amount. Very, very cool, right off the bat. But what I wanna do is customize the screen a little bit more. So here I'm in the layout screen inside of Glide. And right now I'm looking at the layout for this sheet. And so what I wanna do is change it from over here. Instead of a list, I wanna change it to details. And what this is gonna do is allow us to add different components to the app. So I'm gonna X out of the components that were automatically added. And the first one I'm going to add is a inline list. And this is gonna look exactly like what was there before, but we'll update this a little bit more in a little bit. The second component that I'm gonna add is a title. And what this is gonna do is, this is gonna show the total. So I wanna show the total uh, or the sum of all the other items in my list. And the way we do this in Glide is a little different, but it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna come over to the data tab here, and right here we can see exactly what was in my Google Sheet. We have the envelopes and we have the amounts. And what Glide allows you to do is interface with this data by adding more columns to their version of your Google Sheet table inside of Glide. So here what I wanna do is add a sum column and they have all these different types of column types that do different things. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna roll up all of the amount values and then I wanna take the sum of those. And so right there, that's looking at the amount column here and then summing up each of these values. Another column I wanna add is sum formatted. And this is gonna be a math column. And really all it's doing is formatting the value in sum. So it's adding a comma and a period. And then the last column I'll add, we'll say is total savings amount. And really the only purpose of this is to add a dollar sign. And the way I can do this is come to template. And this is very, very, you can do a lot of different stuff with this, but for what we need, I'm just gonna click dollar sign and then type in total. And this total is gonna serve as a variable input name. 
that I can replace down here in replacements. So I can come here, enter total. What is total replacing or what are we replacing total with? We're replacing it with some formatted. So now I've taken all of the values in my Google Sheet and I've created a sum, a formatted sum that I can show inside of the app. So now let's flip back over to our layout and then update this title here. And I wanna update the title with instead of envelope, we're gonna say total savings amount and I'm gonna clear out the details. And so now we just have our total shown here. And then for image, I want to actually show an image. So I can come over here to unsplash.com where they have royalty free images you can grab. And I'm just gonna type in savings. And this is the one I picked out, the second one that showed up here. So I'll just right click and copy image address go back to glide and then paste that image address into image and I actually reduced the quality here. So instead of Q80, I did Q40 just to try to save a little bandwidth on the device there. Awesome. So now we have a savings amount. So now let's look at how we can actually edit these values. So if I click on any of these, it's gonna bring us to a details screen and it's really easy to be able to edit this in glide. You just come over to edit here and turn on allow users to edit. Now this automatically adds this is favorited switch. I'm just going to exit out of that. Right here we have envelope and amount. And so now I can change this if I wanted to like 70, click done. And now I can go back. All right. So what that does is it goes back to the Google sheet and saves it here. So now we're at 70 and then updates the app. Now we have a fully functioning, like the functionality of the app is working. So we can edit the amounts and we can see the sum and it does exactly what I want it to do for my budgeting at the end of the month. But what I wanna do with the rest of this video is show you how to style this. So, you know, style everything on this page to make it a more cohesive app. And then also how to add this app to your phone. So for styling, I'm gonna start right up here at the top. Right now the screen is called envelopes and I wanna rename this. So I can come to tabs and tabs is like the, you know, the screen. And we can see right here, this one is called envelopes. So I'm actually just gonna rename this to my savings and that'll rename that. Now for the second section, this title, that's perfect. I don't, I don't wanna do anything else to that. But for this last section here, the envelopes, I know I wanna rename envelopes here. So I clicked on it and then I came to my envelopes. And then right now, because we don't have pictures, I really don't wanna show this uh, circle here. So instead of a list, I'm gonna change this to a compact list. That's gonna show the label and then the value here. And then to get rid of the pictures, I'm gonna come down to show title when image is not available, uncheck that. And then for image, I'm going to set that to null and that'll clear out the image value. So now let's look at how to change the colors. So to change the color, the theme of the Glide app, we come to settings and then right here, the first one in our settings is appearance and I can choose a new color. So I'm gonna change it to green and maybe I'll even add some saturation to that. And then here we can look at theme. There's all kinds of themes you can choose. What I ended up going with was this bold, dark theme. And I'm, I'm gonna turn off match devices theme. So I want my app to always appear in the dark theme. What this allows you to do is if the user's phone has a light theme, it'll use that. If it has a dark theme, it'll use dark theme. And if it doesn't have any either defined, it'll default to dark theme. Last thing for theming, we'll go to typography. I'm gonna change that to modern. Let's change up the text value a little bit. So now this looks exactly like what we had before. So now to look at getting this onto the device, the first thing I wanna do is change the app icon. So I can go back to settings, come to app info, and then right here is the icon. And this is basically just your accent color with an emoji in front of it. So I can click to edit and click a new emoji. So I'll type in money and I'm gonna grab this bank. And then here's the name of the app. So we'll call this Darren's Savings and then I am the author. So now this is ready to be added to my device. So I'll come to share, and right now nobody can access this app, but once I click publish, it's gonna make this app available on the web. So I click publish, and now anybody that comes to this link is gonna see my app. So I'm gonna change this to, let's see, savings for you at Glide app. Io. And what I can do is now scan this QR code and see it on my phone. So let's switch back over here. Alrighty, so pretty cool so far. The rest of this video is gonna be like this. Let's go ahead and get this app on my phone here.
I'm gonna open up my QR code scanner and scan the code on the screen. So now it's prompting me to open up the link from the QR code. So I'll say open in browser. And then right here, you see at the bottom, it's prompting me to add Darren savings to home screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and click right on that. And it's gonna prompt me again. Yes, I wanna add it to my home screen. So what that did is add an icon on my screen from my app that we just created. And now I can click on that. And in the background, it's really pulling up the web page that is hosting this app. But functionally, it looks exactly like an app on my phone. And so now we have this app that we just created from start to finish that allows me to go to any item or envelope in my savings account and adjust how much money is in there. And then I can use that to compare and keep all my numbers aligned. So first impressions, what do you think of Glide? Let me know down in the comments below. My first impressions, because this was my first app I made in it, is coming from the Thunkable platform, just a few thoughts. One is it looks a lot better than some of the apps I've made inside of Thunkable. With that said, you don't have a lot of control over what this Glide app looks like. So if you want something super custom, you might want to look at other platforms. Another thing, and this is just, you know, with coming with experience, as I'm looking at these other no code platforms, I'm finding that they all do things a little bit differently. So you have to learn kind of how that website or the, the platform does things. So looking at that from a historical place, it's kind of like learning a new programming language. Like if you're actually typing out the code, if you're switching from like a, a Java, you know, switching from Java to like a PHP, like functionally you're doing the same things. You're manipulating data, you're serving data, you're, you know, doing all those kind of things, accessing a database, but you're doing it differently. So it's like you're learning a new programming language, whereas you're switching between these platforms, you kind of have to learn how they do things. And I guess my third comment would be, I really like how easy it is to give this app to somebody. All you have to do is send them to a, website and then they can automatically get this app on their device you don't have to worry about publishing it to the app store the google play store so it's it's different some people might not like that it's it's kind of i don't know i think that apps like this are going to become more popular as more devices support these progressive web apps, which that's what this is. It's a web app that can be added as an app on the phone because the Apple App Store is so strict and even the Google Play Store is kind of getting more strict. So we might see more of apps being utilized like this in the future. So that's something to look out for. But yeah, overall, I'm, I'm really excited to check out the capabilities of this platform and what it can be used for. And I will definitely be letting you know uh, pros and cons as I'm trying out these new no code platforms and if you want to continue learning and, and continue seeing videos like this you should definitely definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel and if you like this video be sure to give it a like but other than that I just want to say happy coding